So, you want more options to extrude? Not a problem. Edge Extrude lets you left click to drag out a new edge. While dragging, if you move edge near another point, it will try and snap together. If you tap shift, it will drag the edge out so that it's flat with the area it started on. And if you tap shift again, it will drag out the edge at an angle that is perpendicular to the one you started. And if you hold control from that point, it will snap that distance to a new edge loop as you drag away. So if you drag out a little, hold control and keep dragging out, it will snap extrude a lot. But if we drag out here, then hold control and keep dragging out, it will snap extrude a lot bigger. Now here you can see that we have a few targets and it's kind of confusing, but here's how they work. It defaults to edge, which just means that when you left click, it drags out a single edge. Edge poly loop means instead of dragging out a single edge, it will drag out an entire side. And poly loop means it will extrude the entire loop. Mesh border pretty much functions the same way as poly loop. Now if you are in standard mode, you can actually switch to edge loop by tapping the alt key. And once you're in edge loop mode, if you hold the alt key, it will activate poly group mode. So normal edge, tap alt for edge loop, and hold alt for poly loop. And if you tap alt again, it goes back to edge. Now if you click edge poly loop, it will flip the order. So if you're dragging out this edge and you tap alt, it will go straight to poly loop mode instead. But if you hold the alt key, now it will activate the edge loop. But again, the standard target is usually the one you want. Also, while you are holding alt, you can do all your normal shift and control options to snap and create new loops if you want. Extend surrounding faces just means the edge goes where your mouse goes. Regular just extrudes things in a direction that has more to do with geometry and math and is a lot harder to control. I do not recommend using it. Remember how we could tap shift to go from free drag, perfectly flat drag, and perpendicular drag? Yeah, well, you can manually pick those here if you want. So free lets you go in any direction, planar means no matter what you do, it will stay flat with the original surface, and perpendicular will be at a 90 degree angle from the original. All right, free sides. This is best understood when you force extrusions to be perfectly flat with the original angles. Free means you can drag your extrusion sideways, but when you set to extend, you will no longer be able to change direction. Parallel is very similar to extend, and taper allows you to change the direction between the two points that get extruded. This is pretty useful when you combine it with edge loop. Single, num, and row signs are what's connected to when you press control. Single means by default it drags out a new single edge. When you set to num row, and if it's set to something like five, it's gonna drag out five new segments. And row size just lets you keep dragging out to extend. How often it extends depends on the size here. The smaller the number, the smaller the segments. Generally, I always keep things in free move, but if you want some more snap into surface, you can pick that here. Smart attraction will snap your edge to another edge when it gets close. Normal attraction is a little weaker, and no attraction means it won't snap at all. And from what I've tested, force symmetrical will try and keep things symmetrical when you extrude in multiple edges at the same time, but if you don't really care for that, you can turn that off here. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.